PanicAttackRecovery.com. Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, anxiety, stress, and ADHD. Today, we want to talk about medication and our perspective on why we miss out when we don't consider the biological, psychological, and spiritual aspects of our mental health. To begin, there are people who have been served through the long-term use of medication. There are people who need medication, but only for a short while. And there are some people who don't treat their anxiety and ADHD with any medication. Like any treatment, not everyone responds in the same fashion. In talking with those of you working with a range of professionals, some appear to integrate a biological model and consider medication in their practice. Some individuals report that the professionals they're seeing try to get them off their medication as quickly as possible. And some professionals appear not to be proponents of medications for anxiety and ADHD. There are some studies out there that have found that the common medications for anxiety and depression, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, appear to rank in effectiveness at the same level as placebo. However, one has to remember that a placebo effect is better than no effect at all. And it might be very difficult to produce a placebo effect otherwise. Also, the common stimulants medications used for ADHD have been studied for a number of years, so there has been quite a volume of research done on them. Now, although we have seen medications work in appropriate circumstances, we like to stress a holistic approach for anxiety and ADHD. Another way to describe this approach is a biopsychosocial model. The biopsychosocial model considers the interconnection between biology, psychology, and socio-environmental factors. We find a quoted feature on the website of the Institute of Health at the Texas Medical Center to be rather insightful. It's from Thomas Moore. You see a patient lying on a hospital bed and think all the illness is on the bed. But if you crawl into his head, you would find concerns about the family, the house, the neighborhood, work, the car, and perhaps even international politics. They are not only a big part of the patient's experience, they may be at least partly the cause of his sickness. We at PanicAttackRecovery.com think it's important to include an holistic approach to anxiety because everything about your life is relevant. Just like changing your thoughts and using effective strategies can change how you feel and perform, making improvements in your life can have a positive effect on your emotions. So you also need to look at the spiritual aspects of your life. We aren't talking about becoming religious if you aren't looking to do so, but we are talking about the importance of having a spiritual activity you do, whatever that means for you. This is an important aspect for people, even those who aren't religious. The take home message of this video is that we think it's important to include an holistic approach to anxiety and ADHD and not to make one area of focus more important than another. We hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see the sources we used, you can visit our website where you can also sign up for our free newsletter. We look forward to presenting another video next week.